Hello, this is Susan Paz, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about how to work with fraction operations on your scientific calculator. So you'll see here in my notes, uh, the key that you're going to be looking for on your keyboard is a, it's got three letters in it, an A, B, C, and this A, B, C represents the mixed number form, so it's going to have the whole number and the fraction, like this, three and two fifths. When we type it in a minute on your calculator, you're going to see something that looks like this. It's going to be three with something that looks like a U, and then two slash five, or it may be a three and sort of a backwards L, and then a two and another backwards L and a five. Above this key, you're going to see a double arrow that's going to have the mixed number form, the ABC, and you're going to be able to then convert that to the improper form, and that's what this D over C represents. So I'm going to practice a couple of these with you in a minute. So you're going to have A, B over C, and then D over C, and again, since this is off the key itself, we're going to do a second function to um, access those um, that in conversion to an improper. The other key I want to look at with you is, and you can search around on your keyboard for it, it has a capital F and a capital D and a couple of double arrows that point back and forth. It's also off the calculator, uh, excuse me, off the key on the body of the calculator. So we're going to do a second function to access that. This one's going to convert back and forth from fraction form to decimal form. Or if you have it in decimal form, it will take it from decimal form, if it's a rational number, and convert it back into fraction form. So you can see here, I have the 3 union 2 slash 5, which is 3 and 2 fifths. And when we convert that in a minute, it's going to look like this, 3.4 or 3 and 4 tenths. And then we'll be able to go back in reverse order and take the 3 and 4 tenths and convert it back into mixed form. So I'm going to put this aside for a minute and we're going to actually do some work on the calculator. So go and find your calculator and let's punch in some numbers together. All right, so now we're looking at the surface of the calculator and I wanted to point out for you the keys. They may be in different positions on your device, but here's the A, B slash C key. This is the mixed number form. And right above it, I don't know if you can see it on screen or not, but there's a conversion from mixed number to D over C. If you can't see it here, maybe you can see it on your calculator. So that's one of the keys I'm going to be using with you. And on my calculator just above it, you'll see the capital F and the capital D with these double arrows in between. This is going to convert us from fractions to decimals and from decimals to fractions. So I'm going to take the mixed number 2 and 1 third and show you how to type that. So I'm going to press the 2 and then we press the fraction key A, B, B slash C and then the 1 and then we hit the fraction key again and then the 3. And so you now will see displayed something that looks like a 2 with a little backwards L, a 1 with a backwards L, and a 3. And when I press enter or equals, it is going to display it as two. And this actually represents the union. It's a small u. And then you see the fraction one over three. So there's your mixed number form. So let's say we want to get out of mixed number form and we go to improper form. So since this is off the button, the calculator button, I need to press the second function first and then hit this fraction key and I'll have to press enter and when I do that you will now see an improper seven thirds displayed. So we went from mixed to improper and now I want to go to from fraction form to decimal form. So I'm going to go to this F double arrow D and again I need a second function and I'm going to press enter and that's going to convert us into decimal form which is two with a repeating three. And then if I want to go backwards to fraction form, I do the same process, second F to D, D to F, and then press enter and it's going to take us right back to the mixed number form of the fraction. So that's one. Let's try one more just for practice. Let me clear out what I had and I'm going to take the mixed number four and one seventh. So four fraction key one 
fraction key seven, enter, and you see the mixed number. And then I'm going to take mixed and convert it to improper using that second D over C, enter, and that converts it to a, an improper, I can't see it, 29 sevenths. And then if we want to go from that to, frac to a decimal form, we do second and this FD key, and you're going to see a pretty long decimal. It actually does repeat. 142857, This has been rounded here. It would normally be a 142857 if you could display all those uh, places. And then if you want to go back to fraction form one more time, it's going to take us back to four and one seventh. So I hope that's enough practice for you to get used to converting from mixed to improper and then back and forth between fraction and decimal. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is that your calculator is automatically reducing or simplifying fractions into lowest terms. So I have a couple of fractions here that are not simplified or not reduced. First one is 25 over 75. I'm going to type that in for you in just a second. I'm going to type the 25, the fraction key, the 75, and then press equals, and it's going to reduce it down to its simplest form. And the other one I'm going to type for you is six, a mixed number six and eight twelfths. And I'm going to type six fraction key, eight fraction key, twelve. And you're going to see it displayed as six and two thirds in its reduced form. So I'm going to get you to jot.